Hi guys, this is me again, Dennis Hagaf, and our transport store uses dot sale. And today for a review, I have a Master Pro, and you see how huge this one electric unicycle is. So uh, let's let's do something here because it is impossible to feel like that. Hi guys, me again, and you see now I put this wheel. Uh, we even don't have uh, such a big, you know, stand to put such a huge and big and heavy wheel and anyway, if I will make something here, so I don't even, even believe what uh, I can just put it on the table, you know, and show you somehow I will in this review. So this is an important part, so I just release all uh, air from the suspension and the wheel are uh, now a smaller one because I think if I will uh, rise to the suspension you will see only <laughs> half of a wheel on that screen. So yes, dimensions as you can see uh, of that wheel is really huge. and. So from the, from the beginning, so the important part and I like uh, review such a wheel, such a new wheels because it is first in many, in many aspects here, uh, most heaviest wheel we have on the market now, 53 kilos and most fastest wheel, most powerful wheel, most bigger battery capacity and many things here for me happened in the first time also, like the uh, first time ever I was able to to run uh, 100 kilometers with uh, such a big speed uh, with a cruising speed 50, 60, 70 kilometers per hour and this is the first time it happened for me first time I was able uh, to run 100 kilometers so fast before electric unicycle uh, and with uh, such a comfort and so on uh, First time ever I was able to reach the speed 80 km per hour after the 50 km was done uh, with, a, with a one battery, I mean from the charging, you know, from the beginning, so even the Monster Pro was not able to, to run 80 km per hour uh, with such a weight I have. Uh, after such a long distance with uh, such a big uh, cruising speed already was done before so yes many as I said many first thing was first stuff was done by me personally first time and of course first time ever I was uh, riding such a big and heavy wheel and interesting moment is what first time ever the weight of the wheel are bigger than the half of uh, my weight uh, with my like a rider weight so uh, my weight is about 100 kilos so the wheel is heavier more uh, more than the half of my weight so and this is was uh, first time uh, such experience for me to understand a little bit better more lighter ri riders because before that all wheels I was tested okay 40 kilos 44 kilos uh, 46 kilos for the Abrams uh, at least it is not not the same like this one so this one is heavier and of course first time we have a 22 inch wheel with a suspension of course and yes so as I said many many this uh, many this information for me uh, and this riding experience for me was done firstly so yes let's talk about the Master Pro and firstly I need to speak about what Bigotti made two models of that wheel, the Master Pro and Master X. The difference only the battery capacity 3600 to compare to this one 4800 watt hours batteries. And I need to speak about the charging. <laughs> and from the box we have a 3 amps charger and I don't know how long it will took but we will come here uh, from the box was about 45% of the battery and I have uh, two chargers and overall I have six amps I can charge that wheel and even from the 45% even with uh, two chargers six amps total I was charging that wheel till 100% uh, till full uh, I was charged all day long, so from the 8 o'clock till 6 o'clock and I was sitting here uh, in the office day before I was riding because I, I knew it but I need to charge it maximally to a full one uh, to start my test and to start my ride, so but anyway 
if you will have only one charger it will be crazy one uh, charging for you uh, definitely if you if you will if you will have a nice event today so and you will go uh, in evening at home and start charging it and even if you will charge it all night long it will not be able you will not be able to run you know second day with 100% battery so keep it in mind uh, two chargers six amps still charging very slowly and here we need something like with 10 12 maybe 16 amps of charger I don't know but definitely it took, took very long one okay so about the design and here many words and many review was done about the masters and t4 and so on so definitely you see no no big difference here and overall from the construction one part we have the same, same suspension same design of all body and the same placement of batteries uh, with these plastic containers with a plastic with uh, parts are are screwing back to all this body and to the control box here almost the same lamp we have here but in this version we received uh, this lamp has no possibility to adjust the angle you need that to know the same plastic handle and uh, this is funny one stuff because it is not possible to take it with that plastic all we know the masters had problem with uh, this handle when you take it and you broke it permanently so here i even don't try to take that wheel with that handle but good point here is what the front here side is lump or metal and screw it quite good here to the to the control box metal and from the back side you can see the difference between the, this wheel and the master we have here some type of uh, of a stand you can just uh, just make it like that and the wheel can be stayed on that stand and on this stand you see the mud guard and you see the rear lights on that stand so here we have the room and metal part room to take so I take it from the, for the, uh, from the front I take it with uh, my hand with uh, on the lamp put and from another side we have here metal so two two hands and it is possible possible to take it and to put somehow here you see I put it on the table so it was quite hard issue for me 53 kilos put it on the table and the wheel are not only just heavy and uncomfortable to take it because you don't have the handles normal but it is also very big you know and you it is just you need to to take it so much uh, high in the air to put it somewhere in the car trunk and so on so I was made the reviews, uh, not reviews, but presentation days in the Latvia, in Riga, in, in Lithuania, in Shaule. So I take that wheel with, uh, with me uh, to show the people and I have the wagon uh, car, uh, big trunk, but when I put it there, so no room left, you know, for additional stuff because this wheel is so huge, it take all place, you know, in the in the in your trunk you know so this, this 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 part also very important so i don't know why they don't made such a handle and i see that it will be in the v v13 uh, and i understand that but this is needed for a, such a heavy and big wheels because it is just impossible you know to operate normally if you don't have such a handles in the such a big and, hu and huge and heavy wheels here so uh, yes we have some type of a stand uh, the rear light are in the daylight when this light are clean you don't see you see now how the wheel looks after i was riding it yesterday so i was specially not cleaning it to to explain you but all this mud still going all all around here on your legs on your boots even on your back and you see how all this stuff are looking so you see what this light you have here you don't see it all uh, already and at the daylight when it clean it you don't see it at the night when it clean you, it can be seen but it is not so informative uh, because the brightness are not so strong so when it not clean it you see nothing here at all and still Bigode must do something here to make the bigger and greater light because such a wheels you know you are using that wheels more in the public roads and so on so 
clearly seeing in when at the daylight at the night you must be for an hour you know drivers for the cars and so on to to you uh, to an hour drivers to see you clearly so here this this problem still not solved so as we can see all around it's the same master wheel with uh, just a bigger batteries and bigger bigger wheel and the wheel here is 70 inch rim uh, real measurement 70 inch the Monster Pro was 18 inch wheel here we have a 17, 17 inch wheel I put already the Contigo tire here this is a uh, tube tire uh, because there is uh, always two possibilities the tube tire and tubeless tire so the tube tire are more softer material more softer rubber and not so hard profile not so hard cord inside so less weight uh, more comfortable to ride less uh, power drain uh, battery drain because it, it is lighter tire and of course motorcycle profile also gives you better performance on the high speed and on the cornering and so on was explained it so many times so will not not repeat it uh, and the, from the box we have the tire uh, like we had uh, the tire in the monster v3 so knobby tire i don't like it specially because of the flat profile I was speaking about also in my review, you can see it, so I was changing it from the box immediately, don't even try to ride with that, that, that tire, so, and I think, but definitely you will need to change it, and uh, another important part is what uh, the off-road tire they offer, this wheel is not for off-road, yes you can ride it on the somewhere, you know, on the sidewalks, uh, on the gravel and so on, but if we are talking about real off-road, the riding somewhere uh, hits all this, pass all these obstacles, um, uh, trees and so on, jump somewhere, uh, doing the corners, uh, speedy runs, hills, downhills, uphills, this wheel is not for that at all. Very big weight and you cannot control it like that and you will you will feel it in the next few meters here so it is it is not the off-road wheel at all so you just need to realize it you cannot live with that wheel if you are planning to ride mostly off-road right somewhere in the forest it is not true if this wheel is built for a high speed and pass big distance with a high speed high cruising speed seated or stay on that wheel both comfortable i was riding seated on that wheel and i can honestly say it is best wheel from the box for the seated ride and the reason of that is just because of the height of that wheel you just comfortable to sit and you feel that but your legs are passing all these paths here and just all perfect for the i'm not big fan you know of riding seated but i can ride ride seated and i was and I not, don't was, but I needed to test that and honestly can say it, yes, yes, it is seated right wheel, comfortable for long distance, you can just ride it fastly, wherever you want. So, according to the overall uh, possibilities, so I was ride it, uh, of course, first time with, with that wheel, I was ride it a lot of the Monster Pro uh, last year and done many thousands kilometers with that wheel many big rides was done also with a monster pro uh, and after that i was come to the commander many thousands was done with a commander now we have this one here on the table and i feel the difference between the monster pro and master pro here also a bigger weight gives me uh, another type of riding and this is very important part also what riding with that wheel in the city in the high traffic where you have a lot of uh, pedestrians when you have a lot of uh, bicycles and so on it's really hard it's really very hard to ride to, it's very hard to ride in the low speed here because you need to understand when you're going for with a wheel like the Sherman Commander V12 HT wherever smaller one wheels so you always see for example some child are going uh, closer to your you know riding trajectory so you know but you can just stop it immediately and you can avoid or pass it you know somehow turn and pass that that child you know to avoid the, the contact you know and avoid that crash so with a, such a big and heavy wheel you need to to take twice more uh, room and be prepared 
uh, must sooner to that potential contact. So and this this feels the inert 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 inertic uh, energy uh, of that wheel are so huge, but you not don't able you know to stop uh, so fast. You don't able to turn or you know to pass somehow so fast. And this is like the train. And I understand what. If something will happen, some, something sudden will come, suddenly will come or cross your way, you will not be able to stop uh, or avoid it like you able with a smaller wheel. So here you need to have clear understanding, twice much more uh, room you need to add and to be prepared much sooner uh, to, to such potential activities, you know, from an hour on our people and on our bicycles and so on and cars also because if something will happen you will ride like you're riding with your Sherman or, or, or whatever smaller wheel this one will hit like the train and you will you will not be possible to do something here so this is very important part part and what I'm trying to say is what this wheel is not for the city and honestly you cannot live with that wheel of course somebody will, will t tell me i order that i have it and i am you're telling not true it is not like that i can live with that but i need to speak like the reviewer you know like the like the person who writes with many wheels all wheels produced in the markets so i can I need to explain your situation because somebody will always say something like it is possible, it is not true, I am writing and so on. I trying to compare, to compare with another product and compare this product to, to another product. So yes, this will have a big potential, gives you and brings you many additional, opens you many additional pleasures to ride fastly, stability and suspension, comfort and so on. But you also need to understand that this will also add you some additional uh, moments uh, of behaving that wheel. So it is, you need to understand that. And I hope you guys understand what I'm, what I'm trying to talk about, you know, trying to, to explain you. But you can overplay with that wheel and for example, if you're passing, passing somewhere on the high speed 60-65 km per hour, passing some corner and, and you don't see what is, you know, you don't see all corner clearly, maybe people are staying where or child staying on the path, you know. So you need to be prepared. You cannot just, you know, blindly going to that corner and see last second you will see what you have there obstacle, some type of obstacle. You just need to understand that you will be not able to go somewhere because this wheel is so big and has such a huge kinetic energy. So you will just hit it and you will you will not be able to do something here and hope this is this is and uh, say it to you quite understandable here so yes this is very important part and second one part because I, uh, why i'm saying it is not a city right even when i for example i will turn back uh return back sorry for example if i am riding with a with wealth ht it is mostly right my wheel now to work somewhere to the city and i still believe it is very great wheel with uh, such a first batch tire i had uh so even if, if I'm going city riding, I'm going 40 km per hour, for example, and I see the red light, so I'm going straight, and I see red light, I'm stopping, you know, fun chicks, so I'm stop it, I put one leg and I'm waiting, yeah, I'm waiting for the green light to, to continue my, my ride. So when I'm going with that wheel, I don't want to stop and I don't want to stay on the ground, because it is an, almost impossible to stay on the ground and have one leg on that wheel, you know, like usual doing, you know, you stop, one wheel, uh, one leg is on your pedal and one leg on the ground and you are waiting. So it is not like that with that wheel. It's so heavy and you stay and you feel like you're going from side to side with that wheel and the load on your this leg are very big and you feel like you need to fight with that, yes, just not to, you know, to bones, you know, on, on the side. 
and you immediately you want to stop you know you, you want to put both your, your leg from the wheel and you even don't want to grab uh, and hold it on uh, with a handle you want to sit on that and usually I'm doing like that so I see the red light I'm stopping uh, move from the wheel and sit on that and that in that such a such a such a condition I'm waiting for the green light and when the green show up I put one leg and I need to 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 make the big step forward with a power you know of my uh, of my leg to big ones uh, push forward to start start right with that wheel and all these stops and starts are really a uh, big issue here for for me even for me 100 kilos so it is very hard to start riding it is not like the impossible but very hard and you feel it and you prepare uh, like I, I this is, was not my idea you know but this is was like where I catch myself here with that idea but I don't want to stop you know and I see the red light so I reduce the speed and I am going slowly slowly to that you know to that uh, red light and I was believing that this will show up the green and I will I will able to continue my journey not to you know to step back from the wheel so this moment also very important but this wheel are giving you another behavior here so yes and of course when the huge traffic of the people you know are going all around it is very hard to control or that because you just understand you have few meters and you understand if somebody will step on your side you will you will definitely you will you will get crashed in the, to, 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 to that man and even in some situation firstly ever I was just stop it and uh, yeah, stop it and step back from the wheel you know just take it with a handle in the some some moments where for example with a 12 HT or smaller one wheel I will just continue riding on the very slow low speed here so this is the difference you need to understand this was like the huge Cadillac Escalade Lincoln, a huge one SUV, very big Ford F F150, you know, and when you're trying to go somewhere in the old town with, with a Ford 150 and all around you are going with a Mini Coopers and you one going with a Ford uh, so or your Cadillac, so this is the same, you know, situation here. Regarding the suspension, let's talk about the suspension. So suspension idea is it is the same suspension the master has, but master has a lower weight and idea is that you are not able to put the air here till that moment what you will have possibility you now and travel uh, in all cases you will have. This is just not possible. You need the bigger bigger travel here to to make this idea true because the wheel are huge and heavy and this shock absorber are small and the movement of a shock absorber are small here and I was pushed here 280 PCI if I will push 300 or more the situation would be not completely different but it will be different in overall riding because it will be more harder like the wheel you know in the in the big in the high speed in in, in, in small bumps so this situation will not be as I said it's not helps you so idea is returning back I was tested a few years ago I was tested the motorcycle the Honda Gold Wing and who are little bit informed in the motorcycle world about all these motorcycles so the Honda Gold Wing is a icon for the long range cruiser bikes here and the new Honda Goldwing with a six cylinder engine with a weight I think 500 kilos uh, twice more than the usual bike usually have uh, have huge power very pleasure to ride in the long distance this is crazy crazy pleasure riding bike with all these features automatic gearbox and so on and really gives you pleasure I was pleasure to ride with that wheel and the idea is that suspension also was working very smoothly because of a big weight but the travel was so small when, when I had the smaller bigger bump you know on the asphalt so immediately all this body all this weight are going going up or down and immediately suspension are uh, going you know 
bouncing, you know, you just lose your suspension because the travel are too small. And this is the problem was, and I saw that, but you're riding, comfort, comfort, little bit bigger bump and immediately crash, and you have that, you know, you have that push to your back, the suspension not working. And this is, the problem is because that wheel is very heavy and you cannot just, you know, made for a, such a heavy wheel, you cannot made the, you know, suspension uh, in, uh, that continuous, you know, go somewhere, it is just not possible. So, returning here to that wheel, it is same. It is pleasure to ride and I feel like suspension and working in mostly cases I am passing over, passing all these small obstacles, small holes and so on. Uh, on that asphalt on the speed 65 75 kilometers with a not no problem and I feel it is working but bigger hole somewhere and I feel like we will uh, immediately bouncing here and you just cannot do nothing here and whatever you can do but just the suspension travel need be added you know twice more here to 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 solve that issue so for that you need to be prepared, but overall I pleasure, uh, ple I, I get my pleasure and the suspension really working here very good, I get my comfort, I needed to play a little bit with a rebound, but overall after I made my final adjustments like I like it, you know, mostly, uh, and suspension starts working quite predictably and I was able, as I said, I was able to run very fast and as I said before here in the event review previously, but the overall cruising speed are very high and you can just easily go 65, 70 and if in some cases with a size some wheels, this is the limit you feel, you know, you're riding 70 for example with, with a Sherman, uh, as I was riding also a lot. You, you're riding, yes, you're able to ride 70 with a Sherman, no problems here, but you feel that you need to push it, you need to, to prepare, but it is not so stable because of a 13 inch, a 14 inch wheel, you know, diameter 40, uh, 14, sorry, 14, uh, diameter 14, real diameter are 14, but overall, as I say, it is 20, it's not a 20, it is 14, and yeah, and you feel that this wheel are not so stable in the high speed, you feel that the power motor providing are not so great and you feel, you understand that you can go such a speed, but it is, it's over the limit and you understand that this is not a comfortable speed for you. And you definitely you play sometime, you know, and you realize that you need to reduce the speed because it is just not comfortable. I don't even speak about the battery drying and so on. So it is just not comfortable to, to stay a uh, long time with a such speed, with a such wheel. So here the situation completely different and the Master Pro brings you unique possibility and first time ever, even my first time I was meet that was with a monster, Master Pro, Monster Pro, sorry, with a Monster Pro when I first tried it and I said it is not the electric unicycle anymore, it is uh, like the uh, mo electric unicycle motorcycle and that behaves. So here this bring uh, you definitely to another level. Cruising 65, 70, I was never cruising and the 70 75 kilometers per hour speed yes i was able to reach that speed like the maximum speed and my my, my maximum speed was 84 with a uh, monster pro i was able to reach with a 100 percent battery I was especially going on the almost abandoned uh, road somewhere in the forest you know good road with uh, no traffic at all and i was specially tried to to make that record my my just for me personally my 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 best best record was 84 and with this is one was as i said on the public road abandoned uh, closed public road somewhere in the forest and i had a lot of uh, room for the, uh, and the distance big distance to to reach that speed and a lot of uh, room you know if if i need to to play with that wheel if and or if i will crash it that you know so this is was very important part it was like the test and especially i was making that so here 
I ride already 50 kilometers fastly with a speed 60, 65 kilometers and after the 50 kilometers I was, when, as I said, when I completely understand and made all adjustments, I, wa I was thinking, okay, so I riding with a cruising speed 70, 75, what if I will try to run faster? And I was able to reach, I just push it a little bit more and I was immediately was able to reach 80 kilometers per hour. Yes, and the wheel start beeps, beeping and I was hearing with my helmet, this Gish helmet, I was hearing the beeps. So this is another great point here. And I hear what it start beeping, beep, 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 beep. But this is was after the 50 kilometers was already done with a big speed and the battery percentage was, when I start accelerating, the battery percentage was 60, 68, or 67, 68 or 67 percent was only, 68 percent was only on the battery left and that wheel was even capable to run 80 kilometers per hour with me and the speed I was reached, I just push it a little bit more and immediately 80 kilometers per hour, immediately. I remember a moment when I was able, uh, I wanted to reach 80 kilometers speed with a Monster Pro it was not so easy. It was it was able yes to run, but I needed bigger distance to to pass it, not to you know over over push it. I was trying you know kilometer by kilometer when you are going closer to to till the eighty with such a my weight, you need to play very very carefully here, not to over you know over push it. So with a such wheel it was so easy and I was looking to the screen, I cannot believe it, but it was so easy. So as I said, this wheel gives you some new features, some great features, but also gives you some moments you need to understand. But you cannot just, you know, have the one wheel 53 kilos and go going around the cities, you know, with our friends. And overall I can say that this is the I call that wheel 50. It is always 50 and it is always 50 kilometers per hour. I just understand what one moment I just understand what I am staying somewhere. I start riding few seconds and I see it is 50. And I, I, I look uh, every, everywhere I go uh, in the city, in the just uh, sidewalks, in the bicycle roads. Uh, and I always when I look to the screen I see the minimum 50 on that wheel. and. 50 for that wheel is like the 30 for the master. But this is the difference like you feel uh, when you're staying on that wheel and when, when you're going fast. And when you're going 50, you just push it a little bit, 60. Push it a little bit more, 65. Little bit more, 70. Little bit more, 75. So it is so powerful and so easy to ride. And you feel like the suspension are working and many bounces are bouncing and the wheel not shaking like that. And the, Main and our problem is about the wobbles, you know, when you're going fastly and some, some uh, not clearly, you know, not clear good road and you get your bumps from the side of the tire sometimes and you feel like the wheel start bouncing like that. So that wheel, that suspension eats all that stuff and you just can pass it, you know, and go normally with a, such a speed. So yes, first time ever and I definitely I want to see the V13 uh, in motion wheel, how this one will act and behaves, but what Bigodi made, uh, once again, we made the uncomparable, unique wheel with a, such a new feature for the crazy riders who ride a, a lot of uh, city rides and so on, and need the range and pleasure to ride somewhere out of the cities and ride a lot, so yes, this, this one and Bigotti made this wheel for the riders. Yes, I can talk a lot about all this plastic stuff, but you will get crushed and you will get nothing here from that lift, from that wheel left. Yes, this quality of the suspension, all these links must be rebuilt, it, must be redesigned, it, must be somehow fixed here. You need to put somewhere here the handles, and I already saw that handles in the in the forums where people made the, for the T4 and for the master from the both side here metal handles yes must be done here from the factory for sure 
Yes, many questions about all, how 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 long all this work and last. But I am talking. But you all uh, know the bigodi. You all know that company. The bigodi making the fast wheel and unbelievable experience and pleasure to ride fastly with a huge speeds and so on. So nobody can compare here to the bigodi. Nobody can compare here. But you all know what. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit <coughs> over, a uh, little bit ill. So, overall, you all know what this is Bigotti and they will not change in here with, uh, with uh, some moments of, uh, of a solution here. But from another way, you need to understand this is 4800 watt hour, 134 volt wheel. The biggest and hugest batteries ever made and no one from the competitors even closely comparable to that wheel. We have here the rim 22 inch, we have here suspension and the wheel are already 53 kilos. So yes, somebody says me that yes, the rim is not so hard, yes, it may be broke. Okay, we will make harder wheel, 57 kilos. We said no, no protection from the bat for the batteries. We need to make the better protection here, 65 kilos. We need to make the handles and stronger body metal parts and so on, 78 kilos. So you understand? And what we see now, we in motion are going on our way here, and we building the V13 with a suspension, with the same size of a wheel and they made it more safer and more stronger body and we have only the 3000 watt hours so <laughs> 2000 almost 2000 watt hours less than the one you see here on the table head so and and the voltage is only 126 volts not 130 four volts wheel so also you need to understand why that it will be not so powerful here and not so fast so yes so this is what you know questions and answers so if we i know that many from the community waited for that wheel need more power more speed and so on somebody even already crashed it with 400 kilometers plus with that wheel and i deeply believe that this will never, this game will never end and you will make the 110 kilometers per hour wheel, somebody will crush it on 115. You will take, <laughs> no, you understand the idea, so somebody will crush it and you can just do here nothing, but definitely not, a, now I can honestly say not a Abrams, not a Monster uh, Pro, not on our wheels can bring the such fun and such a long distance riding like this one has. So, and I don't think, as I said, I don't think somebody will even uh, make it in the near future. So, if you are way, if you are looking for the wheel, fast, very fast and cruising wheel, perfectly riding, seated, stand on that. Great, great, great performance and pleasure for the riding with a suspension and so on. So it is only one I think choose for cho choice for you now on the market and of course you will buy it and you will say it but yes, yes, this need be to done somewhere, you know, in an hour way and so on. Like these pads, for example, these pads are also not comfortable and my legs tired after 100 kills and today I was riding with that wheel here back to my office to film that and I stay on that wheel and I feel my legs are in pain, you know, because of that pads here. You can understand that pads have the hard corners and when you stay so long on that wheel you need to mm, another solution much more pleasure maybe lever one you know soft pads and so on yes you can push it accelerate and push it brake but it is not so great it is more like a part of a design of that wheel but not of a part like where you know for a, for the real riding and you these pads here are doing nothing you will never jump with that wheel and you cannot grab here it is just a part of a design 
of that wheel and, and that's it. So a lot of uh, mud you can see are going from all sides and if you are riding in the wet condition you need to think here something to cover that. Definitely to cover all this stuff you need to disassemble these packs and make it water uh, resisted, uh, get resolated. You need to think about that wires, you see white wires, still wet wires. You need to go here with a germetic where, when, where these wires are going inside, inside the cover board here, uh, with this cover. Uh, also not, 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 not isolated and I saw many, many rooms where the water co can come inside that wheel. Yes, many question, uh, questions as usual, but, but, but this will bring you to another riding level so ah yeah guys sorry i was speaking a lot and i forgot the main difference and this is one really great difference between the master and even t4 uh, but when the first level master come and uh, i think you saw my review of a master and i was speaking with a bigode and saying guys please make the adjustable pedals here well the, 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 the height of a pedal, height of, height of a pedal, need to be adjustable, you know. And for me, personally, the, the level of the pedals for the master was too high. So they made it here. So the master have three, three uh, rooms to put the pedals. And now you see I place it in the lower position for the speed runs. And yes, and it's really great. And I don't even think I need it to rise it somehow because as I said it is not possible to go hard off road here but even the lowest position still quite high uh, for, uh, to you to pass all these obstacles and you will never you know you will never uh, hit the pedal to, to, to your to ground when you're cornering so yes this is great feature three levels we have this is the bottom one middle one and highest one position you can adjust it like you wish but as I said I made it already in the lowest position and automatically this lowest position brings me the performance faster accelerating uh, more easier to manipulate with accelerating and braking easier to step on that because it is very big and very high so and greater performance greater stability on the high speed so speed 75 80 kilometers per hour so I think, I think, I think that's it. Keep testing it, keep riding that wheel. 107 kilometers done, high speed, high speed cruising, 28% still left. So all Colcas. So all seems now are really, really interesting and really great. So thank you once more for watching Dennis Haga review, UC Sale Shop. Bye bye guys.